everyone welcome to my channel by info bright this tutorial will help you to understand the notation file formats such as gff and gtm so the gtf and gff formats are used for annotating genomic intervals and these files are basically the text formats which used to describe uh, the genomic features and these files when you open these files so you will see the file format consists of one line per feature so each row belongs to one features and having nine column of data which are providing information related to a single feature the full form for gff and gtf is for gff is general feature format and gtf stands for general transfer format so let's take an example to understand where you will encounter these files gtf and gff when you are dealing with mapping and quantifying reads sequence reads you will need to use this annotation file to annotate your data so let's take an example so here is my genome and i'm doing a study for a disease after doing the annotation so using this file to annotate the regions genomic regions so we will get to know this particular region says belongs to gene a this particular region belongs to gene b and this region belongs to gene c and we have the expression profile so we can perform the downstream analysis using like comparing how the expression profile for gene a gene b and gene c appears for my sample then coming to this file format so starting the first and file format was gff which were discovered by richard urban and david in 1997 after that in 2000 we have this two file format gtf and gff2 and is uh, like uh, after some of the years different version of these file formats we can see like gtf2 gtf2.1 2.2 same for the gff and nowadays the recent file for the gff is gff3 so let's take an example uh, with uh, gff file formats Each row corresponds to one feature and the column gives you information about that features like what is the type start and score everything so we will see one by one so starting with the first one that is sequence id so sequence id is the name of the reference sequence then coming to the source source gives the source of annotation whether it is from gen scan or it is from gen bank if a full stop is there it means if dot is there it means there is no source available for that particular annotation or feature then coming to the type so type of the feature for annotation it may be gene transcript mrna or it can be exon or the coding sequence so we can see in the column 3 we will have the type of the annotation the coming to the fourth and fifth column which gives you idea about the starting and end position of that particular annotation so we can see uh, one base start position of the annotation and end is one base end position of the annotation so for gene that is that has start position uh, 1k and that has in position 9k so this is a gene and these are the other details that is the sub part like from gene we have the transcript from transcript we have different mrna and within mrna we have exons and then coding sequence so this is a hierarchical part and coming to the next column that is score so score basically gives you the score of the annotation and if uh, dot is there it means there is no score then the next one is providing information for the strand uh, like standard annotation on which particular strand these annotation are uh, these particular regions are there so plus and minus basically represent forward and reverse for the features and full stop for features that are not standard coming to the eighth column that is phase so the phase basically indicates the shift of the feature regarding to the reading frame so what does it mean so we will see by an example uh, first we just have to know that for the cds coding sequence the phase value will be either 0 1 and 2 and if full stop it means uh, we don't have the information and the, uh, explaining the phase part so here the phase 0 1 and 2 what does it means so phase 0 indicates that a code in codon begins at the first nucleotide of the cds feature phase of one indicates that codon begins at the second nucleotide of the feature and phase two indicates the codon begins at the third nucleotide of the region 
and the ninth column is the attributes which uh, having information related to the id name and parent other information so attributes basically storing as a list of key value attributes so we have this id as a key and their value gene id name is the value so we have seen uh, annotation file format either can be gff3 or gtf gff2 so gff3 has like a list of key value pairs separated by semicolon we can see the first information key value pair then we have the semicolon then we have the second key value pair same way we have the multiple information so we will see for gtf in the upcoming slide so they have a slight uh, different uh, column attributes column so they have like uh, the gene id and the gene id name will enclose with a close this thing code double quote So let's go deep into the attributes part. So attributes has this ID part. ID indicates the ID of the feature. So what is the ID of the feature? So for example, this particular gene has gene ID. That is gene uh, 0001. And this ID attribute is required for the features that have children. So for example, this particular gene, they have the ID. And this will behave as a parent for the other one. Like from gene, we have the transcript. From transcript, we have the mRNA. From mRNA, we have different genes. So we can see like this gene ID behaves as a parent for the transcript. And one important point is in the case of discontinuous features, it means like the single feature that exists over multiple genomic regions. So the same ID may appear in all multiple lines. Coming to next is the parent and the name part. So name display the name for the feature. and for the parent indicates the parent of the feature as i was explaining this gene id will behave as a parent so because this transcript is coming from this particular gene so this is the transcript id and the parent id for this transcript will be gene id we'll look for the mrna and exon part so we can see the uh, this is id will be the exon and mrna id and the parent id for this exon will be this mrna so for this particular this is the parent id that is mrna uh, 31 and for this particular exon the parent id is mrna 01 for the gtf file format so gtf uh, file format borrows from the gff file format so the structure is uh, somewhat similar to gff the only difference in the column 9 and that i was explaining so in gff they have the key value and we have the information in the attribute column that is gene id equal to and the gene id name but in the case of gtf we have the gene id and then after having the within the code we have the gene id information so i hope uh, these file formats will be useful for you when you are dealing with the annotation part thank you